Hey, you're listening to the Perception Party on the Pave Network. Keep it locked. You are listening to the Perception Party on Pave Network. Keep it locked. Oh, I feel party. Joby Dabo. Perception Party. On the bow. Hi, everybody. This is Jijo, and this is the Perception Party. This is the best podcast on the land, I dare say, and I'm in the studios with Chief and Planch. Yes, yeah, so our mission is simple. Welcome to the Perception Party again, but our mission is simple. We are going to roll out a 13-episode entertainment heavy audiovisual podcast, which would appreciate the raw perspective of millennials in entertainment circles. So do well to subscribe and follow us everywhere and get a dose of the Perception Party wherever you are. And you can find this podcast on Sound. Basically, all your DSPs. All right, so all your DSPs. So, so I wherever you are, where, <laughs> your sales I thought it was deputy superintendent or something. <laughs> so, yeah, the exciting part is wherever you are in the four corners of the world, from you can the find us. of Brazil to the province of Giza down to the kangaroos of uh, Australia to, I don't know, Kolkata in India, you can listen to the perception party. Right, even in the slums of Lima, we have democratized. It's for you, as Plan said. Danielle, what's up? Nothing really. I'm just with you guys in the studio. It's just having fun. Okay. Yeah. So what really happened this week for you in the entertainment circles? You know, I I, I heard Miss Bell wants to be legendary. Yeah, I mean, legendary she, status. She, she actually has claimed. Well, I, I don't know what you think about that, but, you know, a school of thought would probably say that uh, legends don't... Speak for themselves. Yes, you know. They are giving the accolades. <laughs> yeah, you know, because you, you know, you know, you don't go around hearing that Luba saying, he's "I'm a the legend." Best. You don't go around hearing Kojenchi and you know. Recently, there was a debate between that Luba and Kojenchi, right? About yeah. What? That Luba. That Luba won for you. That Luba won for you. Yes, definitely. That Luba won for you. Well, I, I won't disclose my though, but why? Because you see, I look like that Luba already. <laughs> That's just right. right? Okay. Actually, so what? What's your take on it? What's your take on? Well, I feel she has really tried in the music industry from Mm -hmm. back then, you know. But then, we 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 all know that once you start music, like there's an end, and her time has come. And I think, like, um, her period, Mm -hmm. it was just great. Yeah, it was actually great. With I am sixteen years. That that song was everything. Yeah. So everything. You know, that song is so legendary that even so many years after it's still fighting rape culture. Exactly. Can you imagine? Right yeah. Yes. It yeah. was way yeah. ahead of its time. Okay, first of all, before you even give me your opinion or your perception, <laughs> what is the legendary status that we speak of? Like if 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 what makes up this legendary status? That's the conversation for me. Um I think is the impact they yeah they you know part on the society you know mm-hmm. their music um their mannerisms everything basically about them you know yeah definitely impact influence music has been like, yeah the impact influence of the music okay music so music music. so so in miss bell's case right yeah you all agree miss bell had miss bell had some fantastic tunes you know with Castro of Blessed Memory. Well, apparently. You don't know wait, if he's dead. Yeah, right? I have to wait 10 years. Please don't see me yet. <laughs> Seven. And we are well in. 2019. In, when did it happen? Was it 2014? 2014. So, so like. Yo, we are close. Yeah. We are close. Right. Why do you want him dead? <laughs> no, I do not. But I mean. Yeah, anyway, okay. so. I, I, I don't get it. Why would it even open up a debate? You understand? Why would Ms. Bell claiming legendary status open up a debate? Is this something that had to do with the image? Yes, yes. give her flowers while she can smell it. But why would yes, there even be a debate about it? Because I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm thinking, Pick Miss Bell was, was quote-unquote raunchy. Yeah. Pick Miss Bell actually crawled so everybody James could, could walk, yeah. you know. Definitely, that's true. But... Why must she even want to claim her legendary status? Why should she even come out to? Because, be, believe you me, both of you, well, they didn't really put. I don't know, but I have to be honest. I never put Miss Bell in legendary status or category till she actually reminded me. 
exactly. Why? So why? Why did it have to be so? That is why she had to remind you because she's <laughs> the, the shade. <laughs> what? The last time I heard of no, wait. Which shade? What you just said? No, obviously no. I'm just being honest with you. There's no. I don't know the title of the song. Uh, but it was. It's a bad man. Say run and run away. No, no, no. no. Says. <laughs> Okay, so I'm 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 asking, does it have to do with the image? Because you know, peak music. Maybe you know? she just feels like but she's not she recognized. Away from music for a while, well, yeah. So people don't probably don't really. Or oh, probably because she never won Artist of the Year. She never got. Are you the serious? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Miss Bell never won oh. any Maybe. proper accolades during her time. Why was that? I don't I know. I think she because, did. Though. Because I think I uh, guess because yeah, I think that raunchiness, you know, he, she expressing her sexuality was a problem. Back yeah, then. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. So please give Miss Bell. Please give Miss Bell her legendary status. Yeah, she yeah, gave us run run away. She gave us sixteen years. Yeah. And she and she gave us oh speaking of so there there are people like uh the one oh there are so many there's another one in our coast of Japan, Mary Japan. Mary. In, Mary Japan, you probably don't know her. My dear, I did, I did, I did, I Okay, no. fine. Take, take money and go back to school, <laughs> children of today. <laughs> so, Maria Japon dance. I don't know if it's really something with our female musicians, but it doesn't look to me that yes, yes, celebrated enough. No, I'm talking about Maria Japon. There's Maria Japon. There's a question Japon. Please, I'm going to school you if you <laughs> let me. <laughs> So I don't know if there's something is, is, is it is it an appreciation thing because I've never heard anybody, any masculine act come out to claim their legendary status by force. It's it's bestowed upon them. Yeah. It's either you are you are actually it's, it's either somebody is committing the biggest hubris of commit, uh, comparing two of the biggest together, or you are literally giving it to them like you yeah. are good so take this. Why does the females always come to fight for it? I don't know, but I feel like you know since. Her exactly. time has come, I believe. Uh huh. Hey, I meant uh, ended. Exactly. Sorry. That is my problem. So you 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 so, you have hey, hey, actually counted sense. your argument. You understand? Miss Bell hasn't re- released any song in a while. But Amachi Dede. When was the last time Daddy Luba released the song? No, but Daddy Luba is still performing. Are you oh. serious? Yeah, Miss Bell does perform. Miss Bell does perform. Oh, Where? Because b- 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 because you I'm don't sure know. I'm sure it's somewhere Takradi's man. The last time, the last time that Miss oh? performed was probably on the the newest stage. That's at Coachella, so you would yeah, so you would think so. Mm-hmm. You understand? But the fact that you don't see Miss Bell perform doesn't mean she doesn't. I I believe going I actually well. checked. I said, and they said she hasn't performed. Uh, Miss Bell, please, if you see this, do do. The last time, the last time I heard from Miss Bell, she was doing a reality show. Yeah, 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 and she has a show on TV. Um, I think it was on. Was it Vasa? So she, yeah, she, she, she has a show on Three FM. I think Miss Bo has received. She, she has transcended that pop star status. I mean, her scandals are there. Her her catalog is fantastic. Her image is fit. You know, she still looks fantastic. Yeah. yeah. So please, as as she said, give her the, the flyers yeah, while she can still smell it. But I think I saw it on AmirDebra.com. I saw Am- Amir, Amir's tweet and it got a lot of traction. People agreed yeah, with it. Yeah, this guy is a legend. All right. So coming back to legends, if you do think Ms. Bell is really a legend, leave it on our hashtag, hashtag the perception party, and we shall read your comments whenever we come on again. So uh, <laughs> what else happened this week? 3FM. Hey, no. Wait, Don't I think someone it. died. Though. Apparently, the guy who imitated Daddy Lumba. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah Something yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, I forgot yeah, yeah. 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 Daddy Lumba Jr. Yeah. Daddy Lumba Jr. died. Daddy this died. Is no was it in India or something? Matter to laugh. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for laughing. You know, I saw, I, I saw, I saw the news on Instagram, and I, I like, you know, I just saw Daddy. I'm like, yo, what's really going on? Is this? I was actually scared. I feel like, you're like you're he was actually. I didn't even know, honestly speaking. No, I've seen him. I won't even say him. The the so you're saying that since we have 
people calling uh, themselves Young Daddy Luba and Daddy Luba Jr. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know? I think some sometimes it's yeah, just yeah. the names that are marketable. You understand? Yeah, because my name is Luba is fancy, and and Kojuenchi, like you're walking around saying Young Kojuenchi Jr. or what? I didn't even, I didn't even know him. You know, that Luba Jr. with their braids and everything just trying to imitate him. Kojuenchi style is different. His branding is different, but that Luba. It's just in your face like that, you know. That, that's the first thing you go to, Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. <laughs> anyway, anyway, rest in peace to Young Daddy. Hey, no, 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 no. I, I Something I'm not here. I know it's not here. I, 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 maybe Kwame I'm not here. I think I'm not here. Good. I'm not here. Supremo. I'm not here. Supremo. I'm not here. Supremo. Rest in peace to I'm not here. Supremo. It's it's sad to lose somebody, regardless who they are, regardless who they were mimicking. He 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 was a talent. I heard he died in India. Yeah. He went for eye surgery and he couldn't make it back. Aye. Yeah. Aye. He actually had a problem. He, he had an issue with his eye. He, his eyes were swollen. And people have been circulating picture, uh, pictures of him and Miss... No, sorry. Ebony. <laughs> on the internet yeah. saying that the two of them, you know, have passed. And this brings me back to it. This is the month of love and this is also the official month which will come a year since we lost Ebony. That was so quick, actually. Yeah. Yeah. What's the date? It's 9th February, I think. Oh. 9th February. Wow. So, uh, yeah. Probably, we, 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 maybe maybe we should play some Ebony songs at the end of this because, I mean, I loved Ebony. I guess I mean, everybody did. I mean, we, all, we all loved Ebony. We all did. But I don't know if you loved Ebony that I did. I don't know. You know, I actually have a friend the there who is, be- who is beckoning me. <laughs> He's waving. He just entered the studios. <laughs> He's waving. But yeah, rest in peace to everybody. Rest in peace to Anochi Supremo. You're still listening to the Perception Party. Uh, please don't forward it to the middle. <gasps> Just take your time and listen. Okay. It's, 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 Plant is giving me a, a look of this day because he knows that's what he does when he's listening to uh, every other podcast. But you shouldn't, okay? You should, you should hit us up on Facebook at the Perception Party. Hit us up on Twitter at the Perception Party. Instagram too. We are, we are there. We did there. So yeah, okay. everywhere. All right, Daniel. So three music awards. Yes, yeah, Samini. First off, should we do Samini before three music? I think yeah, Samini. Okay. I think Samini he's also a legend. Honestly. Very funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Sonny Bali. Adi a yogi dogi de yes Samini. Okay, so can you tell me what yogi dogi de yes Samini? You have to ask. Do you know what yogi dogi? <laughs> Daniel, do you know yogi dogi? Oh. <laughs> Mm. Oh, Yogi Dogi. Oh, I, I can sing it, but I don't know. There, so there's no it. times. I, I, well, I don't know if. You know, there's this direct link between Yogi Dogi and Baktai. I don't know if you know. Back, no. Baktai. Yogi Dogi and Baktai. You know, they, they used to. Charlie, let's move on. Okay, so. Um, Samini album mm-hmm. on tape mm-hmm. has just been quoted the first reggae album of. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. What's Regville.com? Oh, it's, it's a Reiki platform, a website. Okay. Very, very important. Okay. Reiki album. Okay. I think he's the first artist to win that first, album. Yeah, first yeah. African mm-hmm. artist to win mm-hmm. that. I don't know. I'm and not big surprised. Big ups to him then, because I'm, I'm, I'm maybe he has done well. I'm not surprised. I mean. Do you listen to the album? Well, I'm yet to listen to the yeah. album, but yeah. per, per his track record. I listen to Per his track record, per what he has done so far, maybe today I should give it a listen. I'll give it a listen. Yeah. Untamed, untamed. Congratulations to Imano Samini. I, I, I really have, I have memories, I have memories about Samini though. I can't remember he came to perform at a cracker that when we were young. My brothers and I went. You know, Samini gave us wrong number. We called Sir. <laughs> <laughs> the, the number he didn't go to. So Samini, please, if you see this, you yeah. owe me one. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Maybe a feature or something. I don't know. You can be a guest at Yes, maybe Samini should come. You, you maybe because he owes it to you. Come to the perception party. You owe us one. You should. We are inviting you to the perception party. Yeah, maybe you should tell us. You know how he, how he 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 writes his songs. You know his inspirations and everything. All right. Congratulations to Samini. Okay, so three FM. Hey, I keep saying three FM. Three music awards. Three music awards. They just released their yeah. nominees for yeah. So uh, last year, 
mm-hmm. last year they had a the I think was it the second time the second yeah. year yeah. two yeah. years ago they had the first one but they they couldn't do it okay so basically we don't want to double into the controversy right three music uh, awards happened and uh and uh you know jocelyn and everybody involved yeah, yeah, was, but i'm sure this year they are coming yeah, yeah they are yeah. coming on strong they are coming they are really yeah. coming because yeah, they pay the creatives. Because yesterday, yeah. I, I listened to it on an Andy Dusty's show. On Joy the Show. list is great. Actually, I, I listened to it Christmas. on Andy Dusty's show. Sorry? And they were, they were talking about it. You know. Maybe we should go to... This, this year, yeah. this year, the awards are going to be very, very... Yeah, because like, really viral song of the year. If you, like, if you should listen to it. The people who choose this winners for awards are going to have a very hard time. Yeah, and Chatawale is there too. Everybody <laughs> It's going to be very dramatic. Can you take us through maybe three categories? Um, the viral song of the year. We have Aquaba, Guilty Beats featuring Mr. Easy, Patapa, and Papi Kojo. Okay, Aquaba is number one. Yeah. Uh-huh. Number two, Do the Dance, Eddie K. Wow. Yeah, and okay. then Obinyanime, Patience, Nyako. <laughs> and then, hey, I can't pronounce this one. Let me see. song. And green go shatawali and and Raz Kuku, he has MWO and Sakodia's advice. Okay. And we have Bobole Bobo Evangelist um Anning or whatever. Charlie, to be fair, to be fair, if you ask me. I don't know who to pick. No, honestly, I don't know it's 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 tight, but NDK, come on. Do the dance. Do the dance. Who didn't do the dance? You did it. Yes, I did you it. did it. I you did, did it. it. it on so I can't dance. So. I can prove because to I you that you did do the dance. I, I have videos of you. Chairman, I, I have videos of you. Don't go there. Show me. I'll put it out. Yeah. yeah. I'll put it out. I, I, I <laughs> but, 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 but I'm going for a decay. I'm going for a decay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From, from where the song grows from, you know, and from the sort of artist he, he's relatively, he was relatively underground. That is probably the first song. Before yes, before everybody school. else came, and this I don't know why Sakodia's advice is there. Well, it was viral for it. Viral a very, for a very short Such period of time. Stood down. But but I think yeah. I think Tulinke's um, so song should be here too. Which one? Tulinke, um, is it um, Proud for Grace? Proud, Proud, Proud? No, I just, just came. I just came. But it was actually there, or it was just me. Listen, so match up to any of those songs. I doubt. I doubt. It's, it's, it's not. It's not a strong contender. It's viral it's viral song. enough, but it's not. A strong contender if you are picking the creme de la creme. It's not okay. Yeah. Well, we have Afrobeat song of the year. Yeah, we have Uber Driver, yeah. Wendy Shea. We have Come and See My Mother, um, Miss V featuring mm-hmm. Yemi Alade yeah. from Nigeria. Mm-hmm. And we have, um, is it Afrobeat? Kelvin Boy. Do you know him? Yeah. I know Kelvin Boy. What you do you mean? You don't know Kelvin Boy? No. <laughs> <laughs> Please, no shade. Right? No, 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 no. Don't worry, don't worry. Um, I dream fee, DJ Varaski, Kwame Eugen, and Shata Wale. We have um, Don't Keep Me Waiting, Chris Yata. We have Aquaba, mm-hmm. already mentioned that earlier. And we have Bawa Saba, Stone Boy, mm-hmm. and Amount, Shata Wale. So, what's your pick? Um, um, uh, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't, I, I don't know. But as if it was two years ago, I don't know. Really? I don't know. I don't, Honestly, I, don't, I don't think I, I have a pick in here. Maybe I was looking forward to. Um, I don't know. Maybe Adina and Kwame Uji. I was looking forward to Afro Pop. Afro Pop. Is, is it is this is this Afro Pop song of the year? Afro beats. Afro beats. So the beats and the pop. What's the difference? I have no idea. <laughs> so I was looking forward to oh my baby or something. Yeah. Really this time we'll just leave this. Okay. Yeah. Let's do a third category. Okay. Let's go to collaboration of the year. Mm-hmm. We have Boys Casa, R Two Bs. Mm-hmm. Pesiata, Kid Promise, Dark right. Vibes. You just go. You know, you know <laughs> and Aquaba, Miss V featuring Yemi Alade. Have you heard that? Which one, Aquaba? Yeah, apparently Miss V featuring Yemi Alade. So I'm sure they made a mistake. Yeah, yeah. Mistake. It should be and then, uh, yeah, we have CCTV, Kid Promise, Mugis and Sarko, dear. We have Can't Let You Go. No, first off, why don't we have the... Have you no, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm back to uh, the category before this one. Why don't we have Wish Me Well in, in Afro? It's true. Afro- that, that, that song too was Afro- great. Afro- Kwame Eugene. Who, who told you his highlight? <laughs> 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 okay. And we have um, 
Obi Nyani me patience yeah. nyako. Yeah. We have um is it grind day year remix Chrissy Ata Sako day and medical killing me softly collaboration. We have killing me softly Adina Kwame Eugene. You mentioned that earlier, yeah. and then we yeah. have Minua a manifest featuring um is it Kim Promise yeah. and. Kwane Kwane Tic Tac featuring um Kwame Eugene. Well I don't know for some reason I just like boys kasa. I don't know. <laughs> I think you know, if it's um Adina and Kwame Eugene. For quality wise, boys kasa is fantastic, but if we want to look at collaboration collaboration, you know, because we probably think because they packed everybody on there. They, 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 they oh, some of them. Some it's, of it's them. It's about connection now, to you. It's about how well it sounds. Aside, on the side, but where do you think that song fits on? Pussycats. Gara. <laughs> on where? Pussycats. Pussycats. Oh, okay. Right here, Jacket Remix is one of them. <laughs> and then Pussycats is one of them. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I, I heard Pussycats, so I thought it was. Pussy, Pussy, Pussy. I don't know okay. whether if you're trying, you're trying to rhyme with Pussy or. No, 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 no problem. I do get you. But Should we move that on? song, that song, Charlie, no, it, 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 it's, 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 really good, but it's not. You don't think it deserves. Let's give it time before we can even do that comparison. Hmm. They'll come time. for us, okay? No, no, I don't. I, I mean, this is the perception party, so I don't. Yeah, I'm very opinion. conversational. Where, yes. Where sir. can I say it? Where can I say it? If you want to defend it? You should come on the show. You're right here in Matic Studios in Raja SCC. Kissel Estate. This guy gasses me up to say things I don't have to. So beat him up. Frederick Bart Blunt. Yeah, but why are you fighting Marlon? Because Aaron is in the studio and he tells me to do what I want to do. <laughs> Shouts to Aaron Adati sitting right here. Okay. So uh I'm sorry. My three uh music awards. Is it supposed to give competition to Vodafone Ghana Music Awards? Is it supposed to make a step up? Does it have to do competition? I don't think so. But 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 then no it, it, it obviously has to be because they are awarding the same things to me. Yeah, but they are superior to the one I watch before. Does it have to be? Yeah, I'm 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 finding out because obviously they are competing for eyeballs, they are competing for prestige, they are competing for sponsorship, they are competing for you know because it's actually competition if, everywhere. Yeah, yeah, because so. because unless you want to tell me, yeah, I watch shows are tailored for different things, but this yeah. this one they look the same. They look the same and they well, agree the and at least can win um an award at three FM. Yeah. A um, different we, one too at um VGME. Yeah, so but I'm trying you see, VGME has established itself. Long ago. Yeah. For for uh, you know, and it, it sort of has monopolized the, that side. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe know. maybe it shouldn't be monopolized. Yes. So that is how I'm 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 asking, you know, maybe I think so. I think they are here too. But I think over the years we had different awards come up. Yeah. Yeah, but but you would agree with me that all these other award teams that came, they were sedimented to a certain genre. You know, let's say base awards or bass awards or what this, what this, what this. You know, they were segmented to certain genres. So maybe three FM is 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 going to give us that sort of competition that probably I think VGMA needs to get. She move on. All right, so I think uh, these three categories are fine, right? So um, maybe the rest of the artist of the year, okay. artist of the year for three three music. Um, okay. Then after that, you can visit our our Instagram and our Twitter and our Facebook to actually vote. Okay, for song of the year we have um, "Killing Me Softly," Adina Kwame <laughs> "Wish Me Well," my level. Wish me well. Wish me well. Hey, my level. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> That's all come for you. We are laughing at you. No, 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 no. I think, Charlie, I don't know. Those two songs are spiritual. Wish me were at my level. My spiritual. Level. Yes. When you sing and you point, I know my level. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be like, yes, And then. You to God. You know. <laughs> you wish yes. me well, I don't wish you. Yes, drop by. Yes, drop by. No, but I mean, I mean, you, 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 you really. Is, <laughs> yes, drop Yes, drop No, but it's, 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 it's. it's yeah, but Charlie, case close. Case close. For me. We have CCTV. I think Wara, can let you go. We have one master and. Adia Pena Kidi. Bawasaba. That's all. 
Okay. Um, what do you think? Yes, sorry, song of the year. Um, artist. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, all right. So you know what? I think we should put this out there on our social media platform so that our people can read, get back to us, so that we get back to them. You so so visit our our, our Twitter at the Perception Party. We are going to put a poll out there so that you can vote for each and every single artist you think should win a three music award. Then when we come back on our next episode, we probably would let you know how the votes came out. But there, there's something we need to tell our audience, right? Basically, we want you to choose the next guest you want on the Perception Party. We are going to put out a list which will be created by us, you know, and also based on the feedback of how good a year these people have had or how well they were positioned on our podcast. So it could be an actor, it could be a singer, it could be a rapper, it could be a director of a, your favorite music video, it could be just anybody who works in the field of creativity. So you should visit our social media handles. The, 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 the credit, I mean, it's rolling down the screen right now. Visit the Perception Party everywhere and vote to choose. But the poll would actually be on Twitter. It would be on Twitter. So you should go there and vote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, it, it, it will be everywhere, actually. It will be everywhere, actually. So go vote. We, 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 it will be open for seven days. You can vote for whoever you want, whether it's whoever from wherever. We'll try our possible best to bring them into the studios and ask them the questions you want us to. So, yes, that's about it for, to, to, for today, right? Yeah, I guess we are done. Yeah, we are done. Yeah, done. Any, any shout-outs to anybody, any people? You know, because me, my dreams are coming through. I'm, 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 I'm on the perception party. I don't know about you. Do you have any shout out to anybody? No, not today. You, you don't want to say hi to mommy? Shout out to everyone. Shout out to the CEO for 100 degrees. <laughs> anyway, shout out to Matic Studios. We came to you live from Matic Studios. Matic Studios, they are located at SEC Kisola Estate. You should call them. Their number is right down the screen. Call them for your productions. For your photo shoots, for your recordings, everything they'll give you fantastic rates. Just mention my name. And also, thank you to everybody who has made this first episode successful. Thank you to everybody who has tuned in to the Perception Party. And yeah, Omari, producer extraordinaire. Omari is fantastic. Thank you to. Yeah, Omari is here. Is here. <laughs> yeah, Aaron. Is here. Thank you to Brian for holding us down. Yeah. Uh, Olga Desmond for doing a great job. You know, everybody, everybody yeah, actually. Well, we'll see you next week. We'll see you next week, people. This is the perception party. They do air horn. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs>